just dying. Sin is the first step in the process of dying. And once you get to the point of death, there's nothing Christ can do. Christ will only raise that corpse to burn it. The dead bodies must be burned to purify the earth physically and spiritually. Let me say it again. Sin is the first step in a life of dying. I don't care how big your car is, how large your house is, how much money you have, if you connect to Barack Obama and you don't call me Brian. Sin is the beginning of the process of dying. Confession, repentance, is the beginning of living. Amen. Which do you want? Living. So do I. I ask again, four minutes to one. If you are living outside the will of God, and I'll show you sometime in the week that the will of God is His law, I want you to tell God you're sorry. That's what He wants for you. It's the most intelligent decision you can make. Tell God, Father, I am sorry. Whether it's thou shalt have other gods before me, thou shalt not covet, bear false witness, kill, murder, adultery, whatever it is. God, I am sorry. I want to live within the hedge protection of your law of life, your law of love, which is the standard of living for inhabitants in heaven and the earth. That's why we pray the Lord's Prayer, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth. Ah! As it is done, and God's will is His law, and I'll show you that. Which of you will say, Lord, and only if this applies to you? I'm not saying you've made a mistake. We do that. I mean, somewhat consciously, willfully, deliberately, purposefully, intentionally living outside God's law, and you want to say, Father, I'm sorry. Receive me, forgive me, and put my feet on the path of obedience to Christ. Anyone like that? Outside God's law. Raise that hand. Can I trouble you? Come. I want to pray for you, right? Come. Don't be afraid. You're young, you're strong. Come. I am living deliberately, consciously, intentionally, purposefully, willfully outside the councils to come. 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 This is right here. You raise your hand. Come. Come, my handsome brother. Come. Come. Come right here. Come. God bless you, sister. Come. Come, my good brother. Come to the balcony. You can fool me, and most people do. You can't fool God. You know, the Bible says the heart is deceitful above all things. You know who it deceives first? The person who has it. Sometimes you think, I deceive the pastor. No, your heart deceives you into thinking you deceive the pastor. Our hearts deceive us into thinking we deceive God. If you possess a deceitful heart, it deceives you first. Because that's where it is. Come. You know in your heart, you are consciously living outside the will of God in one area of His commandments. Don't you made a mistake? Consciously, deliberately, and knowingly. Jesus says, that's not the way to live. He says, live by every word, all ten. How many sins did Adam commit? One that we know of. And look what happened to the world. That's why if Christ had sinned once, the whole planet would collapse. Anyone else? I am consciously living the contrary to God's will, His law. I want forgiveness. I confess. I repent. I'm sorry. Anyone else? Before I pray. One minute to twelve. Come, sister. Come. Don't be afraid. Come. Come. Don't be afraid. Come. You're coming to a God who's happy you're coming. God passes no judgment on you. Not yet, at least. God doesn't remind you of your sins. He casts them in the bottom of the sea. Satan's work is to remind you. When God forgives you, that's it. So come. You've been living consciously, I stress, deliberately knowing that is wrong. Continue to do it. Come. And live as Jesus said, so that when God comes to you tonight, if he comes in a dream and says, My son, how are you living? You say, Father, by your forgiveness and your grace, I'm living according to every word that came out of your mouth. Anyone else? If you come, let us make. Don't think I think you're a murderer or some terrible person. It doesn't have to be a big sin, it can be small. The most dangerous things are the little ones. We think they're okay, they're harmless, they're pets we carry on a leash. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? I want you, when I pray, to pray in your heart. Tell God, sorry. God does not string you out. He doesn't put you on probation. He forgives you. You tell God. Identify that sin. Tell God you're sorry. 
If you still involve someone else, ask God for strength to go say I'm sorry. Sometimes we sin, we lead others to sin by our sin. If you have to sin, sin alone. But if you've led someone else into sin, ask God for the courage to go and say I'm sorry. If you have to go to hell, go alone. Go to hell and take somebody with you. So you pray and say, Father, forgive me for this violation and give me a heart that loves to obey you. It is the safest life to live. Head bowed, eyes closed. Loving Father in heaven, we thank you for your word. It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. We thank you, Lord, for, oh Lord, for your love, love. They came right out of your lips. Each commandment is a word, a word of authority, a word of power, a word of life to the obedient person. But it's a word of condemnation to the disobedient. Father, we're tired of disobedience because sin is the first step in the process of dying. We want to be on the path of living. And so in the name of Jesus, dear God, listen to every prayer that's going up now privately in every heart, saying, I'm sorry for violating this or that law. I'm sorry for influencing someone else to commit sin. Forgive me, dear God, and give me the heart of Jesus on which was written his law. Amen. Please, God, give us grace. You describe Christ as loving righteousness, hating iniquity. Give us that heart to love righteousness and to hate iniquity. Amen. Father in heaven, shower us with your mercy. You are known throughout the universe as a merciful God. Be merciful to us. And because of the death, resurrection, the life of Jesus Christ, forgive us now, we pray. But not only forgive the act, Father, change our minds. Give us overcoming power. That that which we used to do, we may avoid by your sustaining grace. <coughs> oh, Father in heaven, help us to answer the question when it comes to us. How are you living? Let us say, by the grace of God, I am living according to His will. Amen. So bless us, dear Father. Bless the new day. Let many lives come to know Christ because of this outreach effort. Thank you for your convicting word. Thank you for the humility of your people. Save us when you come without losing one. We offer this prayer in Jesus' name and for His sake. Let all God's people say, Amen. amen and Amen. God bless you. You may return to your seats. God has forgiven you, don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. Don't live by how you feel. Live by what the Word of God says. God has forgiven you. You're forgiven through the power of God's Word. Let's learn to live victorious lives. God bless you.